Hello everyone, Kaiser here, and today I'm back with a new video, which is me talking about a few um, anime figures that I've seen, and a few that I'm excited for. This is just kind of a short filler video, um, because I am working on a few other things, it's just taking a bit of time. But yeah, these are a few figures that I've seen, like, on Instagram and just looking up stuff. I have to say that I'm kind of excited for them. So let's get started with the best action made by Little Subjects because they have made a few anime figures but it seems like they aren't that good and I have two best action figures which is um, best action Aang and Edward Elric which I have been customizing so you'll see that soon and for the most part they're not too bad. But I can see why a few people aren't exactly like fans of best action because um, stuff like articulation and the paint apps aren't the best. But like I said, for the two figures I've got, they aren't that bad. And they are working on a few Naruto figures to expand like that part of the line. First one being Sasuke, and I have to say it doesn't actually look too bad. At least from the promo picture that I've seen, which I'll put on the screen. It doesn't look too bad. Um, the faces actually look pretty good, and it seems like the articulation's hopefully going to be good as well. But I'm not sure, considering that when it comes to Sasuke figures based off his Naruto Shippuden design. Um, it seems like his legs are always hindered because of the skirt, so I hope they use some type of, like flexible material so you'll be able to move the um legs around um i will say that the um accessories are pretty cool too they are pretty basic just coming with um different sets of hands and um two well yeah two heads that being a stern look and that being a teeth greeting look i do wish that the teeth greeting look um had like the sharingan eyes because, I don't know, it just seemed, it seems right, but it doesn't look like it'll be coming with that, which I'm fine with. But yeah, um, I always wondered how well, like, best action would work with SH Figure Arts, um, Naruto figures. Um, so I guess we can see how that'll work. But speaking of Sasuke, we also have his brother Itachi, and again, it seems to be the same basic thing for best action. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a lot of articulation because of the cloak. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of his head. It's not that they look bad, but I think the teeth gritting and stern look um, don't really fit him all that well. I kind of wish that he came with like a more neutral, serious type of look for um, it Itachi. But again, it's not bad. That's just how I feel about it. And the accessories are pretty basic as well. But again, not too bad. Then we have Rock Lee, who I'm pretty excited for, honestly, because it actually looks pretty good. It's probably my favorite out of... Um, these three Naruto figures from Best Action. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's like on par with the SH Figure Arts, even though that expense that figure's expensive. But it actually looks pretty good for like a little replacement. Um, he comes with alternate heads, which includes when he goes eight gates, which I really like. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the like removable neck, so you can make um make the like make the had makes sense but it it's about a $15 figure so it makes sense and it does come with a good set of hands I will say this is probably my favorite out of these three figures um, probably because it has the most variety which makes sense since Rock Lee's a pretty dynamic character so yeah I like this um, I am hoping to get at least Rock Lee from the best action line, but if you're looking for replacement Naruto figures to fill in for like stuff like um, SH Figure Art, and I say these are pretty good. I know that Bandai America has their own Naruto line um, for anime heroes, so if you want more or you want to compare, then I say get these and see how you like them. Next, we're moving on to Kyoto slash Revel Tech because it was revealed that we would be getting both Shoto and Endeavor in the Revel Tech form, which, um, as far as I know, a lot of people were pretty excited for, including myself. 
um we haven't seen any pictures of how the figures look yet but um considering the track record we've gotten with um the rebel tech my hero academia line i see i think these are gonna turn out pretty well in terms of like what we're gonna get with them and the sculpt. I'm wondering how they're gonna do um, Shoto, like how he would look in the stylized Revel Tech style. Since the like characters like Bakugo and Midoriya, while looking more accurate to the manga, still have that Revel Tech feel to them. So I'm wondering how that's gonna work out for characters like Shoto and Endeavor. I do hope that they make the more recent Endeavor with the scar, cause that would be pretty cool. So yeah, next up that we see that Figma is also making um, Figma figures for Shaman King and this was actually kind of a surprise to me considering that there's only been like one um, Shaman King figure at least for the main character Yo, yes that's what I'm going to call him. So for him we've only gotten one um, um, action figure of him and it's pretty expensive I'll put it put it up on the screen here but you can see that it's a pretty expensive figure and it's hard to find which kind of sucks because it's honestly a really cool figure but it seems that Figma or Good Smile Company will be giving us a chance to get a yo figure for our collection as you can see it's based off his um, first design you know kind of like the casual look instead of like the black and orange jumpsuit that we've seen in the later seasons which i think is pretty cool um i do hope we get another version that has the black and orange jumpsuit since that's a pretty cool design but this is pretty cool for a first um design look for the figma series so yeah it's pretty good in my opinion next up this one's kind of a detour but i thought it'd be fun to talk about mcfarlane is now making um, action figures for the Avatar The Last Airbender series. And I just kind of find this funny that um, all of a sudden we're getting more action figures based off Avatar The Last Airbender. First with Diamond Select making their Avatar line, then with Loyal Subjects, our best action, making their um, Aang figure, which is honestly not that bad. I think it's actually pretty good. And now we have McFarlane, um, jumping into this little hype train with their figures and I have to say they don't look too bad if we compare um, characters like Aang and Katara to their Diamond Select um, iterations I will say they are kind of similar looking but I would say McFarlane does a good job of making them at least look a bit um, more unique compared to Diamond Select so it doesn't look exactly like a ripoff not saying that McFarlane ripped off diamond select just kind of funny but yeah we can see they're including characters like ang Sokka, katara zuko his first appearance at least and we're even getting appa i'm gonna be honest i'll probably just get appa to have him in my collection have him next to um my best action ang figure i think that would look pretty cool um so yeah this is just kind of something i found out recently and it seem pretty cool it's nice that um the avatar series is getting more action figures especially since um we haven't gotten any like back then if you wanted one the, your best bet was mattel and even then they didn't have a lot of variety so yeah it's just nice to see and last but not least annie Plex or buzz mode is releasing a giyu to Ugh, i can't say his name giyu tomioka for the Demon Slayer line that they have and like the other Demon Slayer figures from this line it looks pretty cool um, I do like I do like the fact that with these Demon Slayer figures the um, outfits they have at least the little coat or jacket I forget what it's called um, forgive me is actually made out of cloth so it allows for more movement and it just 
honestly looks a bit better. Like, if you compare the Aniplex Buzzmo to Figma, while the Figma do look good in their own right, the cloth just seems to fit better with the Demon Slayer figures, at least when it comes to that main coat look. And it's the same for Gyu. This is probably my favorite design for the Demon Slayer characters because of that asymmetry that he has. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited for how this is going to turn out. But yeah, that's all I really have for this video. Again, this is just kind of a filler video. I just wanted to talk about some of these anime figures that I saw, some that I'm excited for. It just seemed like a little fun idea. Um, I will be coming out with a few more like figure updates and custom figures that I've been working on. I have to apologize for like videos taking so long since I want my customers to come out the best they could be so it takes a while for me to complete them which is why you don't see a lot of videos from me I hope you guys do understand that but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and the videos that I have coming up so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time